Hello everyone, welcome to Botany Option channel for the UPSC examination. Friends, recently UPSC mains examination 2018 has been completed. So in this video, we are going to see the question paper number 1 of UPSC mains 2018 Botany Optional. Alright, now before starting discussing the paper, we first of all, we should go through the instructions. Now on the first page, there are some instructions which says, there are eight questions divided into two sections printed both in Hindi and English. In and all, there are eight questions in this question booklet and which are divided into two sections that is section A and B. And these are questions are printed in Hindi as well as in a English language. Now, candidate has to attempt five questions in all. That is out of this total eight question, candidate only have to attempt the five questions. Now, question number one and the question number 5 are compulsory and out of the remaining 3 are to be attempted choosing at least one question from each section. Now this is very important instruction that the question number 1 and the question number 5 are compulsory that is you have to attempt these two questions that is the question number 1 and the question number 5. Uh, then out of the remaining 6 question you have to attempt any 3 but by while attempting these three questions, you should at least attempt one question from each section. That is one from A section and other from B section. All right. The number of marks carried by the each question or part is indicated against it. That is the number of marks has been indicated against the questions. Now answer must be written in a medium authorized in a admission certificate, which must be stated clearly on a cover of this question come answer booklet. In this space provided, no marks will be given for answers written in a medium other than the authorized one. That is the medium which we have selected while, while filling the UPSC Mains 2018 form. And that, and that language should be indicated on your question come answer booklet. You should write the answer in that language only. If you write the answer in any other language, the marks will not be given to your answers all right now the word limit in a question whenever specified should be added to. now whenever there is a word limit it is expect from you that you should add it to that word limit only diagrams figures whenever required may be drawn in a space provided for the answering the question itself now whenever there is a requirement of diagram or figure it should be placed in a space which is provided for writing the answers all right now attempt of a question shall be counted in a sequential order that is if you have attempted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 questions, these uh, questions will be counted in a sequential order. And if you have, and if you attempt 7 questions, that is the 1, 2, 4, 5, 6 and 3 like this, then the first 5 questions will be considered for the evaluation. So the attempt of the question shall be counted in a sequential order. Unless struck off, attempt of a question shall be counted even if completed partly that is if you have partly attempted the question number two still it is be counted all right any page or a portion of a page left bank in an question come answer booklet must be clearly struck off all right so now let's move towards the questions this question paper is divided into two sections that is section a and section b this is the starting of section a i have given here the thumbnails of our videos those questions which are Ask in the UPSC mains 2018. All right. So the very first question is divided into the five sub question that is the A, B, C, D, and E. And as you know, the question number one is a compulsory question. That means you have to attempt this question compulsory. Now the question number first says describe the following in a 150 words each. That is, you have to write the answer in a 150 words only, not more than that. All right. Now the very first sub question is structure of mycoplasma and its importance. We have to describe the structure of mycoplasma and its importance. As you may have remember, we have uploaded the video about the mycoplasma general characteristic in a botany optional channel, and this video pretty much provides the answer for this question. All right. Now there is a second uh, sub question that is the replication of plant viruses. Straight away you have to put the how plant viruses got replicated. Then third sub question is a plant curentine. You have to describe the plant curentine. This curentine method has been used to separate the plants for the many reasons. 
then fourth sub question is a spermocarp and the cystocarp you have to describe this spermocarp and the cystocarp then last sub question that is the e they ask to describe you the structure and importance of the lichens as you may remember we have in detail uploaded the video about the lichen in which the structure as well as the importance in importance we have proposed the ecological importance as well as the economic importance in this video so this video will provide you the complete answer for this question all right so question number one is divided into five sub question and each question we have to describe each respective question all right that is the structure structure of mycoplasma and its importance then replication of plant viruses then plant quarantine then spermocarp and cystocarp and at last structure and importance of the lichens now the marks are indicated as it is that is each sub question having the 10 marks now let us see the second question now second question is divided into the three sub questions that is a b and c the first sub question is describe the role of microorganisms in medicine and industry simple the very simple question has been asked that is how microorganisms are useful in medicine and how microorganisms are useful in the industry now we have uploaded a video about the application of microbiology in an industry right so the half question you will find the answer of this question in this video that is how microorganisms are useful in the industry and very soon we are going to upload the how microorganisms are useful in the medicines as well all right then in a second sub question they ask write an account of defense structure in a plant against the pathogens you have to give the account of defense structures in plants against the pathogens all right and then there is a third sub question called comment on morphological nature of sporocarp in marsalia and see each uh, the first question sub question carries the 20 marks second 15 and third again 15 making it 50 mark question now the third question is divided into four sub question that is the a b c and d now they ask write the name of causal organism symptoms and control measures of the following disease that is they have given the four diseases and you have to mention the name of causal organism then what are the symptoms of the disease and how to how to control that disease and for that you will get 12 and a half marks for each disease all right the first disease is green ear disease of the basra then paddy blast then angular leaf spot of cotton and then sandal spike these are four diseases you have to first give the name of a causal organism then you have to give the symptoms of the disease and at last you have to put forward the control measures for this disease each question carries the 12 and a half marks so total there are 50 marks for the question number third then these questions are pretty easy if you have knowledge about the diseases in plants this is a very easy question to attempt and you will get the full marks when you once you give the name of causal organism then there are symptoms and the control measures you will get the full marks that is the out of marks in these questions all right now let us see the fourth question fourth question is divided into the three parts a b and c now this see the, let us see the a that is give an account on distribution and economic importance of the bryophytes in india that is you have to give an account of distribution of bryophytes in india plus their economic importance now see the thumbnail the economic and the ecological importance of the bryophytes were given in a very detailed in our one of our videos so, so again it's a very easy question that is you have to give the how the bryophytes were distributed in india and plus their economic importance and it's very easy to write down all these things right now see the b the second sub question describe the male and female cones of the pinus that is in pinus you have observed the male and female cones and you just have to describe them and for that you will get the 15 marks then explain distinguishing characters of diapteraceae asteraceae and orchidaceae that is they have given the three families and you have to put forward the distinguishing characters of each family and for that you will get the 20 marks now this is a question number five and this section b has been started so the fourth four question in a section one that is the section a and the remaining four are in the section b now this is the question number five you should remember that this question is a compulsory question all right now 
the question number five is divided into the five sub questions A, B, C, D, and E. And you have to describe the following in a 150 words each. That is, this question has the word limit. All right. Now see the. Let us see the first sub question. That is the floral morphology and alias of ohuls in Cycadiodi. You have to put forward the floral morphology and alias of ohul of Cycadiodi. All right. And for that, you will get the 10 marks. Typification of the plant nomenclature. How to describe the typification used in the plant nomenclature? Again, you will get the 10 marks for this. Then. Development of endosperm and its function that is how endosperm develop and what are the functions performed by the endosperm All right, and for that again, you will get the 10 marks see the next sub question Which is again very easy question describe the different types of the herbaria You just have to put forward the types of the herbaria All right, and for this you will get the 10 marks the last sub question is the generation of symmetric hybrids That is you have to describe the generation of symmetric hybrids and for that you will get the 10 marks so this question is again compulsory and, and have a 50 marks weightage and the question as you see are very easy easy to write down right the question like development of endosperm and its function will give you out of marks because these are very easy question and easy to write it down right <coughs> now let us see the sixth question sixth question is divided into four parts that is the a b c and d now the first sub question is to compare the system of classification proposed by the Hutchinson and Quenquist with note on their merits and demerits. That is, you have to compare the systems of classification proposed by the Hutchinson and the Quenquist with their by proposing their merits as well as the demerits. And for that, you will get the 15 marks. Now, there is a second sub question which is describe the different types of stomata found in the dicots. Now, see. Very easy question. That is a different types of stomata can be found in dicots, and you have just have to describe these types of the stomata, and you will get the 10 marks. Then discuss the essential components of the botanical gardens. Write the names of the important botanical gardens in India. That is, you just have to dis discuss the important components in a botanical garden. And with this, you have to just mention the important botanical gardens in India. You just have to name the important botanical gardens in an India. For that, you will get the 10 marks. Now, let us see the last sub question. Describe the process of protoplast isolation and mention the application of the protoplast culture. Now, the isolation of protoplast, we have discussed in the somatic hybridization. We have uh, we have uploaded this video sometimes back. So you should check this video and you will get the answer how to isolate the protoplast. All right. And at the same time, you have to mention the application of the protoplast culture and you will get the 15 marks for this as well. So this question is again around 50 marks. Now let us see the seventh question. Describe the role of xylem and phloem in secondary growth of plants. That is, you have to describe the ro roles performed by the xylem and the phloem in the secondary growth in plants. As you know, xylem and phloem are the vascular tissues in plants which are very important in the secondary growth and you just have to put forward their role and for that you will get the 20 marks all right now the second sub question is comment on comment on silent features of cordiatals that is you just have to put forward the silent features of the cordiatals and for this you will get the 10 marks quite an easy question all right so these questions now the question like this will give you the out of marks all right so you should prepare this thoroughly although they look very simple and easy you should take them very seriously all right now the second the third sub question discuss the leaf anatomy of c3 and c4 plants as you may have remember that we have done the video on this that is the difference between the c3 and c4 plants you should check this video and you, you will get the clear cut idea about how c3 and c4 plants are different from one another and just for putting the leaf anatomy in c3 and c4 plants you will get the 10 marks the next sub question is describe the major types of the embryo with suitable example there are different types of embryo and you have to put forward these different types of embryo with their example and for this you will get the 10 marks again the seventh question is of 50 marks all right now let us see the eighth question that is the last question now see the eighth question is divided into three sub questions that is the a b and c now let us see the A. Write an account of the following families with reference to the floral formula and floral diagram. 
as we have discussed in many our previous video that is the floral formula and floral diagram are of very much important they are regularly asked by the upsc in their mains examination all right give botanical names of the four important plant species belonging to the each family and mention their uses now they have given the three families below first is the u4 bsc second is ascal pdc and third is poac you have to give at least the four plant four botanical names of the plants belonging to the u4 bsc ascal pdc and the poac that means you have to put forward the 12 name 12 botanical names and with this you should put forward their uses as well all right so in this question you have to give the floral formula floral diagram of the given family plus the bot at least four botanical uh, names belonging to the each family and with their uses and for this you will get the 20 marks all right now the next question is write the botanical names and their families of plant yielding spices drugs and insecticides all right we have we have in our syllabus that is the paper number one and the unit number four we have these plants uh, plants as a source of spices plants as a source of drugs and plants as a sources of insecticides right so the plants as a sources of spices we have done video on this you will you should check this video plant as a sources of spices we have upload, they uploaded this video sometime back so you will get the botanical names and their families of the plants that produce the spices all right and then you have to do the same for the drugs and the insecticide and the parts used therein that is the which part producing the spices drugs and insecticide you have to mention that part as well and for this you will get the 15 marks then there is a last sub question write a note on the following that is the npc system of classification of pollen grains that is there is a ncp system of classification of pollen grains to give this classification you will get the seven and a half marks then there is a sato differentiation and its regulation you have to give the note on the sato differentiation and its regulation for that you will get again the seven and a half marks totally making it 15 marks again the question number eight is of a 50 marks i think by seeing this eight question you will get the idea how the upsc asks the question on the botany optional right and this seems to be very easy paper what do you think about this paper what is your uh, opinion about this paper whether it is easy or medium or hard type of paper you should men mention your views in a comment box we should discuss this and uh, please like the video please share this video with your friends who are studying the botany and uh, please subscribe to the botany optional channel for the upsc examination